Hello, people of the galaxy. Wild Chikoriti here, and today we have another Twitter requested Wonder Cup battle. And today it is against um, someone by the username at Decadent Sneasel. I will throw his Twitter description link in the description. My bad. Can't talk this morning, it's too early. Um, but yes, so this is our Twitter requested battle. And to go over our teams real quick. Um, right off the bat, I'm not going to lie, I felt like the underdog here. Um, I saw some threats on his team. Um, Growlithe can be a little dangerous. Drodagon already. It may not even know any good moves, but it still can be powerful. Absol uh, can be also very, very, very scary. Um, and then looking at my team, we had decent move sets yet again. Um, and then there's Volbeat. You know, normally I wouldn't be excited about something like that, but lately I've been getting Volbeat and Illumise in, like, every Wonder Cup battle I do, and they've been kicking ass. So I was actually really excited about Volbeat, and I was really excited about Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl had a decent move set too. So I did feel like the underdog, but at the same time, we did get some good stuff. So let's see how it goes. As I talk a lot for the next ten minutes, be prepared. So our lovely friend is issuing a challenge. And he's going to start off with Absol. So, and I'm going to go ahead and go off a snow run. Um, obviously, if I have a Wonder Cup Pokemon that has a hazard type move, I always lead off with that move. So I guess I'm giving you guys a spoiler. But if I have a Pokemon it goes out first, just know most of the time it's either going to know Protect, um, a status impairing move, or some kind of hazard. But... I'm going to throw up two layers of spikes because I can. Because why not? Why not get up those? He's going to use a Pursuit, uh, which does a decent chunk of damage, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, he's going to raise my special, or I'm going to raise my special attack, and my attack is going to fall because of the Moody ability. Um, but I'm going to switch out to Poliwhirl, mostly because, um, mostly because this thing had, which move was it? He's going to switch. I can't remember what the move is called right now. <laughs> I'm completely forgetting. But um, Absol actually, or me bringing out a Poliwhirl, is enough for him to switch out into Ralts. Haha, I had Wake Up Slap, which is a good move on his part because Wake Up Slap does not do really much to Ralts because he's psychic. So I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump because why not? Lots of power, lots of power. Ralt, little Ralts, frail Ralts, can't take a Hydro Pump. So that's the first down on his side. Um, so, next we've got Skiddo. I actually really, really enjoy Skiddo, but um, those spikes are going to do a little bit of damage, which is great. My plan is working. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to send out Snow Run. Um, I actually didn't really think Snow Run was going to be much use in this battle. I think it knew, like, Powder Snow and Spikes. I think that was it. Um... But, again, um, there's a lot of switching going in this battle. He sees Snow Run. He doesn't want Skiddo in there, so he's going to switch. He goes out to Growlithe, which is cool. Um, Growlithe is going to take a little bit of that spike damage as well. The spikes are just digging in all over the place. That's um, a little raunchy, Taylor. Um, I'm going to go for a Powder Snow. Obviously, I think at this point I was like, okay, Snow Run, get out of here. I don't really need you for much. Um, but, you know what? That's fine. I decided to change my mind, and I do change. Um, I'm going to go after Eevee. Eevee, again, is one of those Pokemon you always see in like every single Wonder Cup battle I have. Um, and he goes for a freaking close combat, so great move on your part, but um, Eevee didn't even stand a chance. So, unfortunately, most of the time our Eevees are decent in our Wonder Cup battles. Today, this Eevee did not stand a chance. Um... So here goes out Shop It, and of course I'm going to use a move like Shadow Sneak. It has priority. It does a decent amount of damage. Um, so there's that. But of course, me not thinking, Growlithe has Bite. I don't know why I didn't think about that when I sent out Shop It. Um, I kind of just, like I've mentioned before, I like to use every single Pokemon that I get um, in a Wonder Cup battle. I like to try to use all of them. So. Um, Shuppet at least had a four second debut along with Eevee. Um, you know, at least Shuppet got to attack one. But anyway, so Poliwhirl got a nice mud shot slap something off on, um, Growlithe was able to take him out and then I'm able to get off a nice and wake up slap on Absol, which is nice. Um, Pursuit is going to take a decent chunk off of Poliwhirl, but that's okay. 
Um, I'm still, I'm still bulking it out. Poly, poly, poly whirl in his happy little hands. Um, so Skiddo is coming out. I'm gonna use Wake Up Slap on this thing, which I think I meant to use it on Absol, but that's okay. It took off a little bit of damage, and now I can switch too. We're both really, really good with the switching. And then here's this little guy. This, this these Volbeats, man, I'm telling you, have been just changing my life lately. Um, if I recall, because I did this battle a couple days ago, so this is kind of post-post commentary, but, um, if I recall right, that this Volby is out for a lot of the rest of the battle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and confuse Ray Charmander. This is one of the first times we're seeing his Charmander, I think. Um, but I'm going to switch and go to Abra. Because I needed to use Abra, why not? I didn't use Abra the whole battle. I wanted to use Abra at least once. So Charmander nice and hits himself in the face. And I was hoping that he would get stuck in a move that, you know, something like that, that I could just kind of keep on. But I didn't expect Dragon Pulse. I guess I should have because I knew that a lot of them have that. But, oh well. Um... And Abra had more of a supportive move set, which, I mean, doesn't surprise me. Um, but, again, I was hoping to encore Charmander into a single move for some reason. I think I'm pretty much just stalling at this point with this Abra to see if I can do anything, but I'm, I'm really not doing anything with this thing. So, um, Dredagon gets off a nice and superpower. Not enough to kill my Abra. Surprisingly a little bit bulk. Um... And, yeah, so he gets stuck in superpower. I don't really know what the point of that was. Um, I think I was just trying to use Abra to the best of his ability. I, I, I have no reasoning. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure there was no reasoning behind that. I was just kind of trying to use Abra. But Abra is down. Sorry, buddy. Um, thank you for participating in the Taylor Show. And here comes back out our... Um, our true monster, what is Volbeat. So, um, and that is enough to scare Dragon out, and Charmander comes back in, because of course, if anything fire hits that thing, then uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble, aren't I? So I'm gonna throw another Confuse Ray out at Charmander, because I think it's really hilarious when he hits himself in the face. I am going to go for a Tackle, which does a little bit more than I thought a Tackle would, to be completely honest. And that's okay, he hits himself in the face, he puts him right in the red, and I am faster, so of course I get off another tackle, and Charmander is down. So we've got another death on the field. Um, and luckily it is not on our team. And so far we're actually sitting pretty well. We're sitting a lot better than I thought we would be. Um, Absol is almost, almost dead. You know, um, he's taken hits like a champ, so this Absol was really killer um, on his part. I'm throwing Confuse Rays all over the place. I'm throwing Rubber Duckies. And Absol is now confused, which I was hoping he'd hit himself in the face. Does he? Of course not. My luck, he hasn't hit himself in the face. No, why would he do that? So, why not be even more annoying and throw up a double team? Raise that evasive evasiveness up. My goodness, Taylor, you just speak English. Speak, I, I, I can't English. So, I'm going to Moonlight, of course, because what will be ill maze that you get off Wonder Trade doesn't have Moonlight. Um... So, regain all that health back. He's going to go for Pursuit, which does a decent chunk. But I'm going to go ahead and risk the attack anyway. It puts him about half to red. He gets out of confusion, but I do avoid the attack, which is nice. So, I think that he still needs Absol for this battle. So, he's going to switch out of Absol into Dredagon. Even though Absol is hanging in there. Sorry. Insert yawn. Um, I did just wake up. But, um, Absol is going to hang on there with a little bit of health. Dredagon's going to come out. Of course I'm going to confuse this thing. You know, why not? If I've got the move, I might as well. Um, so Dredagon is now confused. Dredagon is going to use Dragon Tail. And with the double team up, I miss it. So I'm able to heal myself up, which is nice. A free turn to, uh, bask in the moonlight. So, anyway, Dredagon is confused. He's hitting himself in the face left and right. You know, all these Pokemon just hitting themselves today. Um, so I'm going to go for another double team. Why not? Why not be a freaking troll? Um, 
But Jardagon does snap out of confusion way earlier than I thought he was going to, which was kind of a bummer. Um, so I take that hit, and I am swapped out with Poliwhirl, which is okay. Poliwhirl can take, hopefully, uh, what I wanted to dish out. So I'm going to go for a wake-up slap. It doesn't do very much, and Dragon's got rough skin, which I probably should have thought about. Um, but I didn't, so I get off a little bit of damage. Poliwhirl takes a superpower, and he is down, which kind of sucks. Because I was hoping to win this with Poliwhirl still alive. Um... But Polyworld did a decent job in this, so I guess uh, I, I guess I'll forgive him this time. Maybe just this once. So Confuse Ray is coming back out again. This seems to be the move of the game. Um, Confuse Ray is just just, just everywhere. So uh, Jodagon is confused, and Jodagon breaks through that confusion. He's not that confused apparently. He gets a Night Slash off, which does a decent amount. Um, I don't like where my health bar is going, so I'm gonna go for another Moonlight. Get all that beautiful, th beautiful, tasty, delicious health back up. And he's going to hit himself in the face because of confusion. I'm pretty sure, yep, I am faster, so I'm able to get a tackle off and knock off Dredagon. Which is nice, that rough skin is a li little salty, but you know what, that's okay. Um, Dredagon is gone, and that's all that matters. So, here comes Absol back out, and luckily the spikes were just not... Absol couldn't handle the spikes. So Absol gets sent back out and um, is pretty much dealt with without me even touching it. I don't know if he realized that that was going to happen when he first came out. Um, but yeah, Absol just didn't have enough health to live the spikes. Skiddo takes a good deal of damage from the spikes. And I'm also able to take out Skiddo, right? Following Absol with a tackle. So that was that Wonder Cup battle. And I actually am very, very surprised I won. But he did battle very strategically. A lot of switching going on in that battle, which I liked. Um, I, I really, really, really enjoyed this one. I would say that this is one of the best Wonder Cups I've had in a while. So, thank you, Decadent Sneasel, for the request. I will throw his name down in the description. I'm sure he would be more than uh, happy to battle any of you guys if you'd like. And, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Wonder Cup Battles. And if you guys would like to challenge me to a Wonder Cup Battle, go ahead and leave your name down in the comment section below. Like this video or get a hold of me on Twitter. Um, also, links are in the description. So, until next time, I'm a Wild Chikorita, and I will see you guys later. Bye!